The ruling released by the Commission on Election against a candidate can go to the Supreme Court. According to Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez, if the Supreme Court decides with finality that the candidate is disqualified after the May 9 elections, the disqualified winning presidential candidate will be replaced by his or her vice president-elect. But uh, from what I understand of the law that applies right now, um, this that particular set of circumstances will lead to the vice president succeeding, okay? Not not the second placer, because na both na nalo siya, eh, di ba? Na nalo siya, na disqualify lang, uh, which means that uh, valid naman yung election, disqualified lang yung candidate. So under those circumstances, um, I believe that the resolution would be uh, for the law of succession to to. Um, activate and therefore it's the sitting vice president that will succeed. The rule of succession referred by the COMELEC is enshrined in the 1987 constitution which states that the president-elect and the vice president-elect shall assume office at the beginning of their terms. If the president-elect fails to qualify, the vice president-elect shall act as president until the president-elect shall have qualified. Jimenez also explained that if a candidate is being disqualified with finality before May 9 elections, individuals with the same surname can substitute him or her. If a candidate is disqualified with finality, then that amounts to an involuntary withdrawal. If the candidate is filing under a political party, then the right of substitution applies, which means that the candidate who was disqualified and therefore involuntarily withdrawn will be able to be substituted by a person with the same surname okay the substitution can be made up to midday of election day at that point a coc can be filed with the board of election inspectors uh to to uh, show that uh, the substitution has been made. The poll body spokesperson also said that the substitute need not come from the same political party because there is nothing in the rules that say so, Jimenez added. Meanwhile, according to attorney Emil Maranion III, an election lawyer, an aspirant certificate of candidacy that was cancelled has a different scenario. A disqualified candidate valid your COC niya. So, so, so in other words, for all legal intensive purposes, uh, he is a candidate. This mm -hmm. is contradistinguished from a petition to deny due course or your cancellation case, wherein your situation is sinasabi ng korte na, val na hindi talaga valid yung COC, therefore it is as if na walang candidate. So in mm. that case, yung second place or yung umuupo. Nel Maribuhok, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.